I've been a massive fan of Lego and Star Wars since I was very young. There's lightsabers, there's spaceships, there's weird aliens. It was just a privilege to be able to work on the game. It's just a franchise that spans all generations. I'm going to make the jump to light speed. As soon as we started talking about doing a new LEGO Star Wars game, the ambition swelled. Because as fans, we love all the movies. And to have the opportunity to tell the whole saga from episode one all the way through to episode nine, we knew we had to take it further than we'd ever been. We started off by having regular meetings with Lego and Lucasfilm, discussing just everything about the visual design of Star Wars, what makes a Star Wars game, how we might integrate Lego into this game. They gave us access to all of their libraries, which was the greatest thing to be able to dig into. The storytelling throughout Lego Star Wars is incredible and filled with jokes and funny moments, because in a Lego game, we have freedom. You can use the humour and we can spin it. So Han Solo is still being Han Solo, but he might have a banana instead of a blaster or something like that. We knew we needed to refresh the game and get something that felt familiar but reinvented. The systems, the frameworks we put in place to enable us to do that over like a hundred different gameplay mechanics and all the different systems that make up that game. Real-time processing on the voices. So when you pick up a helmet and you put it on, your voice changes to sound like you're a stormtrooper. Well, looks like you've got a stormtrooper problem you should look into. We're putting a lot of emphasis on, on the lighting and the environments. We have something like 12,000 materials that were generated for the game, 20,000 unique models, and 26,000 textures. If you're a fan of LEGO Company's work, you'll be amazed at the resolution and the amazing work that the models team have done. We get to recreate all these iconic designs literally brick by brick. We built the ships entirely out of LEGO bricks. So that's not just the exterior of the ship, that's the interior, so you can land inside these ships and walk around in an environment entirely made out of LEGO bricks. If you were to build one of our capsule ships in real life, it would take millions and millions of bricks. We've designed some of the characters that don't exist as physical models. What we would do is we'd look at the film reference and we'd take existing LEGO creatures and characters that are similar and then what we end up with is something that is as accurate as we could make it. Take the Bantha, for example. So it's just really true to LEGO IP and it's really true to the film IP. We wanted an evolution, I suppose. So what we've done is try to keep what's familiar, but really add something a bit more modern in, a bit more fresher. One of the things we've done in this game is we've gone for a third person camera. With the blaster combat in the game, we really wanted to make it feel more visceral. Now when you use the blaster combat, we bring the camera down, we get into this like third person perspective and it just really makes you feel like more in the action, which is pretty great. Using the Force is a huge part of the game. The Jedi, the, the Sith, they all have this Force power where they can literally pick objects off the floor and fling them about. We really took advantage of that Force power that we haven't done in previous games. You can fly into space and there's like just interactions that will happen. Giant ships like a Star Destroyer coming in. You can try and fight it and you go defeat it and you can capture it and take it over. I think when we're making these games, we think about the fans a lot. So there's a few Easter eggs in this game, some stuff that we're really excited to get in. You can switch all the weapons so that it's mouth noises. So you can be like, zhuang, zhuang, woo woo, pew pew. And of course, uh, you might end up a little thing called mumble mode. So mumble mode is basically how the old Star Wars games were. We had to rely on animation, expression, and these sort of mumbles that mimicked the speech. It goes. Seeing your work put together on a scale like this really makes it feel like it's something special. This is the ultimate experience of going everywhere in the universe as whatever character you want and really being in Star Wars.
and I can't wait for players to see the hard work. It's been a really ambitious project. What they've achieved, they should be rightfully proud of. <laughs>